Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match bet between Chigant and his undead and purple chest and of course his dwarves. Um, so I believe, I believe uh, PC will have chosen to receive, even in the rain, probably. <laughs> I don't know though, somebody won the toss. Um, we've got a strength 7 mummy which is hilarious. Um, some other things. It's a pretty good undead team actually, but it's a very high TV team for PC. 1730. Um, Chiagans is 1720, so he's got he's got a babe with his financial fair play money. Uh, there's actually loads of dodge, so it's a quite exciting dwarf team, especially for PC. And in the booth with me is Flicky Flack. Hello. Hello. Yes, strength seven, mummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you have been tempted with block on either of those? Yes, but I probably wouldn't have taken it on either of those because <laughs> it's just fun, isn't it? It's just fun having a strength. I think seven. I'd rather have a strength six block than a strength seven blockless, but that's just me. It's so funny, though, isn't it? It is. It's pretty amazing. Hello, Red Hair. The handsome, calm gentleman. <laughs> the absolutely flicky calm. <laughs> You've seen the emote, thanks to Gadea Nick. <laughs> the calmest man in Blood Bowl. Oh, I fucking hate that emote. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty great emote, though. PC showing his inexperience. He did not blitz with Mighty Blow. Oh, yeah, that's, that means that uh, Chicken can probably go for the win in, in normal time. <laughs> yeah, absolute noob. <laughs> I don't know if it's shit. Like, it's... The string seven... Like, at the end of the day, block doesn't protect you that much, right? You, you're, like, you're, you're getting 75% instead of... Like, you're getting 55% knockdown instead of 75% knockdown. So it doesn't really protect you from 2Ds that much. Um, you're still quite likely to get powered. And if you get powered by Claw Pump, you're still getting cast. Whereas Strength 7 means it's actually quite hard for a lot of teams to hit you. <laughs> I guess the uphills... It is. Maybe he needs one more skill, right? If you're going to take the strength seven, maybe you need one more skill to like get stand firm because it's pretty easy yeah. to, to pull him away. Yeah, it would be really nice to have stand firm, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yes, defensively, it's definitely like you say, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But offensively, having that strength six blitz, mighty blow whenever you fancy, I like a lot. Yeah, it's obviously good having block, but. Uh... You know, I don't know. It's it's also good having strength seven, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I it guess is. I guess strength six block is the more sensible route. Do, but do you skip it on the first one? Like that's the thing, right? If you if you don't skip it on the first one, then it's like, well, I might as well go strength seven on the second one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very true. But I think if you so take what it. Else? Sorry. What else do we have? We've got a strength for ghoul. Nice piece, love a plus strength ghoul. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty tasty undead team, really. Like realistically, they've got they've got a good ghoul, they've got a pom white, they've got another white, they've got a guard zombie. It's a pretty good team. It's a shame he got he drew PC really. <laughs> yeah, PC's team is pretty nasty, isn't it? It's everything a dwarf needs and a little bit more. Yes. But, bizarre amount of dodge <laughs> an unhealthy amount of dodge <laughs> yeah and that lovely plus move on the runner it's one of my favorite stat ups a plus move on a on a movement six carrier yeah very good what did pc cut um he was 1880 so probably just like two dwarves uh, did he cut the bench down dwarves. to uh to deny a wizard yeah or a bribe. I guess a bribe would have been pretty important to cut as well. You don't want to lose a dwarf to one of these uh, dirty players. I think probably he cut to avoid the wizard and then had to cut the game. Like, do you know what I mean? That's probably... Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, yeah. Sorry, Fymir. Of course you can. Yeah, you don't need to ask. Of course, Fymir is the uh, is the main Hello, attraction. Man. Hello. <laughs> 
the main attraction. Hey, all, all the pressure on me now. <laughs> Yeah, you're the main attraction on this channel, Fimea. With who was the guy who like who needs you to get his to get his girlfriend Paula. Randy on his wife? His wife, his wife. Yeah, his wife uh, enjoys hearing my voice at night. <laughs> so you know, just for Pogla, we've got to have you on. <laughs> you rev the engine and he parks the car. Is that the situation? <laughs> I think I'm just the radio of the car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the prom, uh, when a polar takes his wife to prom, American style, you know, I'm the radio, I'm the central. Nice. <laughs> anyway, here we are, the Strength 7 Mummy, absolute legend, love it. Yeah, I noticed that PC's uh, gone a little bit far away from that mummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keeping a wary distance. He doesn't want five dwarves tied up on one mummy. Yeah. I mean, what what does the slayer need to hit? <laughs> oh, yeah, fives to get. Five. That's a five, yeah, it's a five, isn't it? Something like fives, so, yeah, it's absolutely mental. <laughs> So he needs four assists and to try and roll a five to get a 2D. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, he's 1Ding into red dice. It's pretty brutal. The inducements are just a babe, just a babe for Shigant. And the thing is, you don't even want to blitz with a with a, with a a mummy anyway, right? Because you just want to blitz with a pawn. So. It's a weird, weird situation for the, uh, for the mummy. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's that's that mummy's job is just to be a roadblock, to just tie up, like you know, like a roller, like a tree, just really good on defense, tie up a lot of players, get in the way. It's just difficult, isn't it, by putting by not putting him central. Now, uh, obviously, that encouraged PC to go to the other side, which he has done, and now it's like, how does he get him relevant? Doesn't want to stick him on a rookie blitzer. Doesn't want to stick him on a blodger. No, well, I, I guess he. I guess it doesn't matter to the dwarves too much, you know, their offense is often going to be the slow grind, so I guess they don't mind picking a side and just wearing down the opposition. Oh yeah, they don't mind at all, but he minds, doesn't he? Like, maybe he's got a GFI to get into these two. Yeah. Maybe he has to GFI. And that's then it why, totally is. That's he, why instead of a guard, should have break tackle, and that's it. You can reposition that movie wherever you want. <laughs> Well, that's an interesting follow. Is he, if he's not going to pile on? He's surely going to pile, I guess. Yeah. I mean, why did he follow? Always pile. Is he just charging up for extra mighty blow? No. No pile on. Wow. Yeah, he makes the GFI. Makes sense. It Hello, does. Hancock. Hey, Cocky. Hey, Tom Schnees. Oh my god! A dwarf 1D block that is not a POW! <laughs> Never seen it before! Someone clip that! Just wait until the dwarves have their 1D. Yeah, yeah, the dwarves, the dwarves will just 1D all down the line now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question end of the day is like uh, doing a dodge with an elf without the dodge, but with the chance of killing the other player. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It, the problem now is like these guys. If you stand them, well, they're not even doing anything really, are they? But like, oh god, he just stands up one. Oof. Oof. Oh god, I this mean, this could be a massacre this turn. It could. I mean, you know, zombies are there to be punched, but you want it to have you know a tactical use, and I'm not sure that qualifies. But we'll see. <laughs> The last zombie that got up, the one next to the Slayer, is tying up the Slayer and the <laughs> Blitzer. Yeah. So um, yes, he will get punched probably at some point, but PC is going to need to invest, so at least one dwarf to move there. Yeah, the question is, like, how much does it cost PC to... Uh to like make all the hits and I think it doesn't cost him really anything to make all the hits so I think it's, it was just yeah. getting mighty blood for no reason basically 
especially if you get, I mean, that Mighty Blow Tackle is somewhat controlled right now, so the, the runner is reasonably safe. You know, there's a there's both blodgers on the mummy, so even though he's strength seven, you know he's got to get blodged down. Yep, and then he can he can blitz here, then just hit, hit the pom. Yeah, certainly can ties up the uh, the ghoul as well quite nicely on the plus strength. Does want him down? He doesn't get him. He, yeah, he really wanted him down though. All rerolls. There is a time to think, you know, to be a little greedy. <laughs> yeah, I I might agree to that one. I agree. I mean, dwarves don't need three rerolls a lot of the time, so four is an absolute luxury. Yeah, yeah, he must have got an extra. Wow, he's not hitting with a slayer. Unbelievable, Jeff. That's interesting. Very interesting, yeah, I would have, I thought that was fi absolutely fine to take the Slayer hit there. Yeah, I mean, the ball is fine, there's only zombies on that side of the pitch, and there's enough tackle zones, it's not a problem. This is a problem, so, yeah. isn't it? I've just realised he's got a, he's got a runner here. This is a big problem. Yes, the, yeah, I, after the, the push, um, that's a definite issue. So yeah, he's covering that. That's why he didn't hit with a slayer was to cover yeah, that. I think the guard was more important than the fact of being a slayer. Yeah, yeah, he had to protect. He had to protect this uh, this runner, didn't he? So yeah, I didn't even notice the runner until then. So obviously PC did notice the runner, and that's why he didn't hit with a slayer to cover the runner. Chain the mummy into that bunch of three guys into the slayer, maybe. He needs to. Oh, never mind. Here it comes. Here it comes. Three dice. Oh, Easy. Hey. Every single day of the week. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at that square whether he could fill that and then chain. Yeah, he chain could. It just up. doesn't achieve that much, does it? Like, is the thing. <laughs> or unless you did it again and then he could have blitzed him. Was that your idea? Chain him twice and hit the ball. Uh, no, I was thinking more of the surf. I was thinking how we could get into the get into the slayer, bang the slayer, and then surf the runner. Was my thought. Yeah, yeah, that would have been that would have been all right. I think it was possible, burn. but it was a lot of work. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that bad, right? You put in the dirty player, and then. Uh... Get a, you get the tackle put the tackle hit on the dodge, which is nice. Uh, but I mean, you would have to GFI blitz, wouldn't he? You would need an assist, and you would need yeah. that square fill. So yeah, it would take a fair bit of work, I guess. Just just full power him anyway, easy. Yeah. Instant full power. Okay, so that's um, it's a nice little turn, isn't it, for the uh, for the undead there? Yeah, pretty good. Would have quite liked to see a foul. No, there's not enough assists, is there? No. They've all got a thick skull. So it's, yeah, that's true. It's pretty depressing to foul dwarves, but there are only 11 dwarves, so. Yeah, it's a, and that, it's a valid know, high roll option. But yeah, the problem with the foul. Ah, oh, no, there is another uh, summer with foul. Sorry, I only saw the guard one. There is another one. There are yeah. so many icons on the screen. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of skills. And yet we can still make out what is what. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's an unbelievable. <laughs> At a glance, you can see where all of the guards are and all of the mighty blows and all the stand firms because they're all the same color code. Isn't that isn't that good? Instead of just randomly all being orange with half of the other skills in the game also being orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a little purple stripe occasionally for no fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Let me tell you one thing, and you heard it first. I'm putting my money on this. The classic Blood Bowl 2 icons for the skills will be a DLC. <laughs> Hopefully, a dev or somebody can uh, sort it out so that you know we can actually have the old, the old icons. That would be good, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, he's just starting to wear them down, isn't he? Second kill. Yeah, he's got so much mighty blow spam throughout the team. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad for everybody playing them. <laughs> it is. As long as he doesn't lose his ghouls, though, you know he's always got that fifty-fifty. No matter what, that they'll come back. Um, so his offense should still be fine. At least for a turn or two. Yeah. <laughs> So he got a babe, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's got the babe, so yeah. Kaz are back enough. Four plus and tails on a three. Yeah, he, at the moment he's got three dwarves on two mummies. I think I'd be happy just to to leave that situation and fight the rest of the team, I think. If he can get away from them now. That's the problem of having the mummies next to each other. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you want them connected, but, yeah, you, you do want to... See, um, the, the strength seven mummy, instead of a uh, guard has break tackle, it was two plus, two plus into two dice uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the ball carrier. Unstoppable machine. <laughs> and you can re-roll. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could... You could like chain the uh, the mummy somewhere and punch, but it's not that good. Is it? You've got to, You've got to blunt the forward movement. That's the that's the thing. I think. Are you looking to blitz that um, that stand firm? Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely hit him. hit him. Yeah, with wrestle maybe. I guess that's all you can hit him with. Yeah, because the the. Pommer is, unless you hit uh, the strength 4 with the zombie, which isn't easy, is it, because he's strength 5, <laughs> then it looks like you're going to have to hit him with a rackler because he's not But he's moved, the, he's moved the cooling over here, so now I don't see how he can hit, hit this guy at all. I guess he's not going to. Yeah, there's just too many undead tied up on these three dwarves now. The two uh, mummies was fine if you could free oh, everyone else. Chain, uh... you, yeah, you can chain him completely free now, can't you? Which, oh, but he's already blitzed. Oh, well. I quite like the idea of blitz, like, you know, chaining him free and then he could have blitzed this guy. Yeah. But I guess by blitzing with the pommer, then at least you get something back in front. Yeah, sure. And that mummy is a bit more relevant now. Yeah. It makes this uh, it makes this two D on the on the rocky, and it can tie up another one and get in the way of the slayer and the runner a little bit. Yeah, or he gets the full power. It doesn't matter. Either, but... <laughs> I mean, this is the one that he should have hit. But yeah, I just didn't realise which one had the dodge. Instant full power. Yeah, so it's a little bit in the way of his two fast guys who are a little bit off on their own on the right. I I quite like that. Dwarves look a little bit thin now on the on the left, and it's turn five, so they can't fuck around trying to come back and switch again. I think they're looking pretty strong still, though. Like I still quite like them pushing down this this flank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to go far forward, but you do have to sort of consolidate that position in the center center left. Maybe blitz the blitzer free with mighty blow. Um, just blitz that zombie and, and move up a little bit couple of squares yeah oh can he punch a goal not really there's too much guard around him oh well he's doing nothing like that <laughs> he's doing okay. a GFI oh. Oh. he's failing a GFI can't believe it. Are we sure this is PC? <laughs> I'm calling him Poster. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sus, isn't it? It is pretty well, sus. Well, PC with a team with his high team value. I uh, know. Yeah, so he's just going back there and the strength four is going to hit the, hit the mummy. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't think he had too much time. Uh, I guess he's got the time, but yeah, the players getting back over there is tricky. 
I mean, it's, it's kind of easier. To, like he's got more players here, hasn't he? So it's kind of easier to get everyone else over here than it is to get everyone else over there. It's just that by going there, you get away from the movies, and by going here, you keep the movies involved. So like, it's easier to go this way, but you keep the mummies involved by going this way. Yeah. It it's a whole mess now of based up and guard locked, and whoever can find a way to escape will either get the drive or or maybe sack the ball. Oh, sack the ball. Day, oh. Sacking the ball is going to be tough, though. God, that was disgusting. Into armor break. You should be ashamed of yourself, PC. Okay, okay, this is the actual PC, yes. The actual PC we know. <laughs> I didn't want to hit the, hit the movie at all, fair enough. That's why I did it that way. Push on the ghoul, lucky ghoul. Mm, but that's kind of pushed the ghoul into uh, the danger zone now. This is like a 3 plus to hit the ball, isn't it? Yeah. 3 2 2. Oh, in fact, you can just dodge with dodge as well, because that's, uh, that's not. Yeah, that you can, yeah, you can definitely dodge with dodge and keep the re roll for the sack. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, he can actually hit with. Uh, with Rackle, if he wants, on a dodge double GFI. Yep. Needs to get an assist in to make it 2D, and you don't want that assist to get surfed, so that's a little taxing. Yes, I think that's too much. Yeah, you can obviously get the plus strength goal in, but then the surf is very much on. But maybe worth it. Get that ball down maybe in the rear. It's and turn, uh, five. It's gonna be turn six for uh, purple chest next turn. If he loses the ball, yeah, yeah, Femi. Ball down on turn six for dwarves is no joke. Under the rain. It, yeah, absolutely. Four plus pickups. Only takes one pickup fail and he's done. Maybe just like plays safe and then goes for the cheeky one D at the end of turn. Yeah, try and get the the plus strength lad round the round the back, uh, just as a a little backup player. If I still have the, if I were still having the reroll, probably I would do that. If not, I'll try to do the two D. I mean, four rerolls also this uh, under team, you know, can afford needs to spend a reroll per turn now. I wonder if he'll go for the ball. It's interesting, isn't it? Because he could just like he could just play safe. Yeah, he's just playing. The safe. problem is, this is the first turn he's had this mummy on his feet. Yeah. So it'd be nice to take advantage of the fact that both your mummies are up for for the first time. Yeah. Like, because you just know it's going down next time, and then he gets all these three guys free. And that ghoul's getting smashed in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tricky because like he stood a lot to lose by going for the speculative ball hit, and like because this is still pretty strong, isn't it? Like he's quite strong. This is the problem. Like it just depends. If he had been a bit weaker, then I think going for the speculative ball hit was better. But it, it feels like he's quite strong, but. Yeah. Maybe not. I mean, if, if I'm this... not sure how strong he's going to look after this turn. Yeah, that's the I think thing. The dwarves are going to be pretty well established, you know, on that. I think you needed to dodge the strength four and, and hold the hold the sideline of the strength four as well. Yeah, yeah. That one ghoul is is just not going to get. It's not enough. Done. It's not enough. No. 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 It it just isn't. And he didn't uh, block with a. Oh, the mummy was having a... He was going to be red dice in it. Yeah, so the, the mummy goes down first. The troll slayer stands up for guard. Blitz with tackle mighty blow, and then you just take that space. I think it's all pretty straightforward from there. You get to punch the guard. Uh, zombie. And I think you're in a good spot. Yeah, very good spot. Yeah, I think you... He either had to dodge this strength four, or he had to, um, or like maybe the maybe the pommer and the strength four, or yeah. he had to, or he had to go for the cheeky one D, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah, it's just not enough to get in the way, is it? No. 
Uh, now, uh, Troll Slayer's got Juggernaut, hasn't it? It does, yeah. That could be the Blitz now that he's cleared the guard. Yeah. The problem with the the problem with the Slayer Blitz is like not getting forward, isn't it? Because the that it, he could have blitzed with the uh, with this runner, this long beard. Sorry, like you know, because then that would have been. It's only got range four, hasn't it? So, and then he could have got the blitz further forward, uh, the troll slayer, a square forward, more forward, basically, which would have well, been. The troll, quite would have just, the troll slayer would have just stood for the assist, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, but or, well, then you get this, then you get the long beard. Like either way, yeah, like, you, you get you get one ahead of where the troll slayer could get. Yeah, but this is close enough, isn't it? Beautiful dodge away from the, from the strength seven. Yeah. And yeah, he hasn't he hasn't used strength seven at all, has he? This half he, this could have just been a normal mummy, but of course that's because PC is trying to minimise the impact of the strength seven. Yeah, uh, the PC has been running away from that mummy all the half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to knock this blitzer down, which he's done. I think you've got to go all the way around, haven't you? Yeah, at least there. Uh, maybe you can one further over, but who else gets in the way now? You know, he's only got two free players up here. Yeah, but it's not looking like it's enough. It looks like that was the critical turn. Yeah, I think so. No, oh, fantastic huge. armor break, huge, A lovely bit of greed. Oh, missing next game, and Oof. the apple fails. Brutal! Don't oh. take the death, PC. Don't take the death. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it against undead. <laughs> that's a nice I mean, removal. Very nice. Yeah, that's a very nice removal. It is and nice for the game. The drive should still be fine. No, oh, gets it. Four plus three tackle. Does Could've he take the five plus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he just maybe he just like sticks there. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Tying him up is all right. Yeah, yeah no. it's not easy to to get an assist. Um, not when you need to use. You know, most of your remaining pieces to to resecure. So yeah, I, I don't mind staying there. Now, if PC wants to score, he can perfectly get score, but he's giving a two. A... Yeah, didn't like it. No, I thought that. Was oh, a bad move. that extra one was too greedy. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, a bad move. You, 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 yeah, you're I taking the guard long bit. Like that's great if you use his action. I mean, he, okay, he probably does one D right. Yeah. But, um, but that's uh, so that's uh, tied. That's tied. It and now you know PC can uh, plan a stall for turn eight. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I like just taking that action up. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, the strength four gets rid of the guard zombie, and then you've got four guys to to protect from two. Yeah. Should also, be fine. He... He missed another uh, hit with a strength seven mummy. That could be another uh, dwarf out. Yeah. Yeah. Apple gone now. You definitely want to be hitting with as much mighty blow as you can, don't you? As, uh, especially when you have three dice by the face. Mm. Yeah. I always want to be hitting with mighty blows as much as you can. To be fair, but yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it's got much more chance of being effective against uh, armor nine thick skull when when, they, when there's only eleven of them <laughs> and ten now. With no apple. Yeah, ten no apple. That's that's not nothing, is it? No. And he's gonna be two. And it's you know a movement six bludger out as well. Two LOS hit cities coming in the in PC general direction. Freeze the guard. Like the number of female employees at Cyanide, it's not nothing. <laughs> 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 
Hey, <laughs> sick, yeah. Full on meme lord mummy, isn't it? Yeah, Glorious. Glory. Yeah, drop that back. It, it's it's safe. <laughs> Did you get a gifted one as well, Ark Nalax? Brilliant. That's thank that's thanks to uh that's thanks to Artemis's uh <laughs> Artemis's booby stream watching. Um <laughs> We all got gifted. <laughs> we all got gifted those. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's a quality emo. It's yeah. so dangerous to watch Artemi sometimes. <laughs> all right, what do we do here? Week to lose. Yeah. So the dwarf, you need to stop a movement seven who's six squares away, so. <laughs> Not easily. No. You could do the 444 to, to 2D, but that right. seems terrible. You, you can. Uh... Blitz the Troll Slayer or the Guard, the Mighty Blow with the Strength 4. Put some roadblocks there. Pray. Yeah. Could do a mummy dodging base up around the back. I mean, that. you should try that at the end of the turn, maybe. But how do you, like, do anything in front? No, this is PC drives right now, but... I mean, you drop the guard in on his Slayer. I think you have to base yeah. the ball as like pathetic as it is. He's not blitzing. I don't think I would have done that blitz. Yeah, he's gone with my blitz. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ball is based, but in the wrong side. Yeah, I, I don't know, that just seems too easy to deal with. Yeah, and then absolutely ghoul into the Slayer, I think, is the only option there. Yeah. It's it's not the worst. No. Dice need to be rolled, that's true. The problem is you've got an easy block for one more assist. You've got yeah the the strength four on the on the DP gives you the extra assist. If you pow, <laughs> so you gotta make that hit and see if you get the pow, which he does. And the question is if he even hits at all, right? Because he can only get one D's here. So maybe uh, maybe he just dodges. Oh wow, he's blitzing with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking blitz with him, then drop him in. And then just dodge through the... make the gate dodge. <laughs> right. Well, no, you drop in and then you... Well, you block the guard mummy, then you get to block the tackle oh, yeah, white. you block this, yeah, yeah. You don't even need a dodge. Nope. As long as you get the pal. Yeah, and obviously PC only rolls pals, so it's no problem. Yeah, yeah that's a, a nice little chain of being able to power. <gasps> you didn't get the pal, but it's still just a dodge. Oh, does he does he re-roll this? Ooh. No, because he could push. Yeah, he just can just make the dodge. Well, yeah. you could try the one D. You could try the one D, but then it's another one D as well. Yeah, the push is pretty bad. Yeah, but you still get this right. So I guess you just don't re-roll it because you won't re-roll for either this or for the dodge. I guess this is better than the dodge, isn't it? So you've got to make this one D. The dodge is a one in nine because the white has tackle. Oh, I think you. I think you made the one D. I think the one D is better. You making the two plus one D? Yeah, I think. I think that's better. What is it? Two plus three plus to to get the first push, and then another one to make it to not turn over, basically. Yeah, it, it is a bit worth with. It is a bit worse with frenzy, but it's still probably better than just the straight up dodge. I think probably. Probably. 
probably. <laughs> like, the uphill is better than a dodge, but then obviously you've got to make another hit afterwards. And the 1D is obviously better than the dodge. And you're mostly going to be 1D. So I think with Frenzy, you'd definitely make the 1D first, or, like, you know, try the 1D first. But yeah, it was pretty easy to deal with, wasn't it? Even, even got him looking how to do that. Slightly worse to do with that one because of the Frenzy. No, it, it, you can't tell from that. Wouldn't have been better yeah. rolling the 2D block on the white? No, because the push, one is, the, the push is terrible, so you, you can't. Oh, okay. that yeah, yeah, it's right, right. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't yeah, push the, the push. side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the push is too bad. Yeah. Although the push, then you just make that 2D, that you make the 1D that we're looking at now. Yeah, but then you haven't got a reroll for it, so then that's why you just don't reroll. So you've got the reroll for the one D. Yeah, that's that's true. But you can't you can't spend a reroll on it. But yeah, if you, if you roll the push, then then you make then you've got to, then you've got to make the slayer hit basically. Yeah. Which is why you can't reroll the both down or the push on the on the two D basically. Sure. Is he going to try that one turn? Um, he can try, but he's not going to do it. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh... I think I'll go for the blocks and the foul. Yeah, I think it's possible, yeah, right? Great. He's got move seven. He can get four pushes. There's no, uh, there's no stand firm on two of them. So he, he could do it. He could do it. Has grab. Yeah, he could do it. But uh, it's just, it's just hard, right? With edge three in the rain versus tackle, it's probably not worth trying. Oh, he left a hole, or oh, he left a hole, silly PC. Could he, could he have... No, he's not silly PC, he couldn't have not left the hole. He hasn't got enough players, has he? No, yeah, he could have done, he could have done this, couldn't he? Yeah, he could have swapped yep. these two. So a slight mistake from PC there. Leaving oh, baiting, baiting the one turn. And he also could have put three stand firm on the line. Yeah, he could have done. But then then, then, then you definitely make the mighty blow and pom hits. <laughs> and then that's, that gets dangerous. So maybe it's interesting. Yeah, that's that? true. You By baiting the one turn, you you take less hits, don't you? Yeah. If, if they go for it, I think it's probably better just to go for the hits anyway, because it's so unlikely. Yeah, and set up a nice big juicy foul on that, uh, on that skilled dwarf. Yes, Skuro is here, remembering us that the most important part is tackle on every square. <laughs> yeah, tackle on every square, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's move seven It's move seven in the rain, like, with edge three. It's basically impossible, so I wouldn't have even tried the one turn, to be fair. If there are, I think there are more chances of the ghoul dying than the, yeah. you getting the score. Yeah. This is the point where um, Sick as Eggs tells you that he did it to me in uh, SFL this season. Mm. With humans, the dirty Dino. Humans in the rain or not? Was it raining? No, no reroll. Yeah, he had no rerolls, but it wasn't raining. What's happening here? Well, he's doing the 3D and not using the strength seven mummy. Yeah, I don't know why oh, the strength seven mummy wasn't one to the right. That doesn't oh, make there any you go. sense, does it? Okay, okay. I mean, uh... gets the cars though. Oh, got him. Yeah, but the strength seven mummy should be, you know, one square to the side or. Yes, yeah, the, the mummy should definitely be one square to the right, for sure. He's no why there. everybody's here to watch the six string seven mummy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, he is the star attraction. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like in this series when there is a superhero with fantastic powers and they don't <laughs> use it because it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh, come on! Yeah. <laughs> um... Do you dirty player foul skill the sky? Probably, right? I yeah. guess you could, you could you could skill the zombie foul him, um, like that. Nah, that's going with the dirty player. Hundred percent dirty player. He has no uh, no apple. So any yeah. another uh, dwarf out is a massive. Yeah, I'm absolutely going dirty player here. Well, it looks like he's not because he can't, <laughs> unless he GFIs first. He could GFI with this guy, now he's going to the skillless one. But a better player to foul, so... Kazuzim oh, anyway. Okay, okay, 12. <laughs> no. Arknalas, he has to be Arknalas, the player that did that, you know? <laughs> Just roll Arbor, six in. six. And Arknalas is dead. Injury, 12. Two yeah, Kazuzimilas. Brutal. Brutal for PC. 
Yeah. It really <laughs> is. Three that cars. is devastating. <laughs> Three cars including up or fail. Oh Oof. boy, oh boy. And not one of them was a badly hurt, was it? Oh yeah, no. this one was, yeah. So the the the, the stand firm was a badly hurt, so if he if he had saved his apple on the runner, he could have guaranteed got that one back. And the undead come through the half completely unscathed. Yep. Only a rookie zombie off, which is obviously completely irrelevant. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. This is looking real bad for PC now. But he's won the up, so he's just got to throw everything at this, hasn't he? And uh, somehow get the stop. Yeah. Yeah, he, he. Yeah, it's one of those where it's not the worst situation when you you're not in two minds. You know, you've just got one job, and that is make the stop. Make it he, stop. He very, he's very good at that. He we, is good at stopping. We both know the way to do that, don't we, uh, Flicky? The best way to make a game of Blood Bowl stop. Just concede. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Con concede and storm off. The storming off's optional. <laughs> <laughs> not for me, it's not. <laughs> I just can't fucking help myself. <laughs> Except I did the other day. I went to go and I thought, I'm not giving Gdynik any more memes. And I, I sort of stopped myself halfway up the, out of the chair and I sat back down. Oh, that, that might be an even better remote. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what it's eight dwarves, though, isn't it? And he's got those two mummies to tie up, at least four of them. It's just not... God, it's... <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. It's just not possible to stop this touchdown. <laughs> I don't think so, but stranger things have happened. <laughs> Elliot would call you an idiot if you said this was done. <laughs> There's certainly an option for like lying down as well, right? And then hoping that he wins the toss in overtime and doesn't take yeah, any more damage. Sure. But, but the problem with that is two dirty players and massive yeah. gang fouls. So, yeah, yeah it's it's just pretty tough, pretty tough spot. Hello, Lupak. It is a strength seven mummy. Yeah, the glorious, the, the most glorious chalice player this season. Uh, even better than my strength five elf <laughs> and Dad Oh no, actually no. Daedals is the best. Daedal yes. has a strength five, edge five, war dancer. That, that's the armor best. Armor six, player. armor six. So every play with that player is, uh, you know, is a cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. When are we going to see the strength five uh, high elf? Uh, that's Monday, seven p.m. UTC. Nice. In a glorious match versus Rick Reckless. <laughs> Strengths, yeah, yeah. It's it's got tackle and mighty blow on it. It's like it's it's absolute god tier. Uh, Daedal's oh, dancer, a string seven minnow with tents. God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Are you free for that one, Femia? Yeah? Yes, I'll be Monday at seven. Yes, glorious. I don't know if we might do. We we might do. I haven't asked him yet, but I thought we might do. Uh, like you know, depending on how much Rick cares, we could just do me and Rick in comms together. Um, That's all right. That already happened during the Blood Bowl Super League. Yeah, but it depends. It depends because if he if he wants to try hard, then obviously we could uh, we could both have our own our own casting teams in. <laughs> so I'll ask him. I'll ask, I'll see what he I'll see what he wants to do. Because I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't. I've already resigned to losing <laughs> against against Rick with a Rick needing Rick dice. I think I haven't got much chance. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I mean Rick on the ultimate dice team is a uh, is a tough one to overcome. Yeah. And the next game was was, was going to be probably versus uh, Crucifer's Chores. Yeah, the whoever wins the uh, your game. Uh, no, no, it's uh, it's Dark Elves. I think it's Alma Forever's Dark Elves in the next round, and then oh, Crucifer right. after that. <laughs> so, yeah, the, uh, the dream would end at Cruz, I think. For either of us, <laughs> like definitely, I mean, by by Cruz, like there's a good chance of just losing the Dark Hills anyway. The Dark Hills are a pretty good team. Good exchange, but pro probably probably Rick's got more chance, right? Just by just by 
whizzing everybody every game. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think my team's particularly good. Yeah, I mean, he's got a nice team for the wizard, hasn't he? Um, all those catches, leaping in wherever they want. Yeah, I think I think he probably loses to Chris still, though. But you know, he's, oh he's yeah, got a good no, absolutely. I I just I think he I think he's got a good chance until Cruz. Yeah, like I think he's got a better chance than me against Cruz, just because he's got the wizard, like the real big wizard prayer. Yeah. Whereas I don't really have much of a prayer against Cruz. No, you lost your edge man, didn't you? I've got, I've got, I've got an edge catcher, uh, but he's just not. Very oh, good. okay. He's just not very good. Yeah, I haven't seen your team in a while. Seven, there's seven players for the PC now versus three, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? That send off and then the KO. Only a two man advantage now. Yeah, and, it, and he still has to pick up the ball in the rain. Yeah. Without sure hands. It is seven dwarves, yeah. Where's Snow White? <laughs> it's, the, it's the mummy, the mummy Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scarecrow, maybe that's, maybe that's the play. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god! As, as bad as as bad as that sentence was, Guru. Yes, yes, that is maybe my best chance. If 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 like whichever one of us wins and whoever wins against Arnold as well, like there's a there's a lot of games to get to Crucy. Where hey, Demi? I I don't read books. I just find them nice. <laughs> there you go. This is this is pretty tough, right? Because this this guy is uh, is weak, but then this guy's protecting the pommer, so you don't really want to move the other guy. I guess you could move a ghoul up to here. Yeah, maybe that's the best idea. Move a ghoul up to here. To... Yeah, that's what he's done. Good move, Chirgant. Well, I just don't see the point, Skuro. I just don't see the point. <laughs> uh, that's the title of uh, your autobiography about Bullet Bowl. <laughs> I don't see the point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I've got no imagination, so I can't read a fiction book. You know, like, because it's just like, what's the point if you've got no imagination? So, like, there's literally no point in me reading fiction. And then non-fiction is, is, well, you know, a lot of it's bullshit anyway. So a lot of, of non-fiction is fiction, so who knows? Yeah, I don't really read non-fiction, but I read a lot of fiction, obviously. Well, hey! Oh. Oh. Killed a guy. Yep. He's Oof. dead. That's a Oof. big uh, piece to go. I got. Oof. Yeah, all of a sudden, PC's back in this. Oh, get out of town. Get out of town, PC, with your pills. Oh my god, disgusting <laughs> maneuvers here. <laughs> yep. God, now it's only 8 versus 7, isn't it? All of a it sudden, is. all of a sudden, it's not looking good at all for Chicken. Yeah, I mean, the fact that PC can just continue to snipe, one of the big advantages of being men up in a bash match is that you just get to, you know, base and, and make it miserable. But that's very hard to do against dwarves because they've got so much guard. Yep. Maybe he could have stuck the mummies in earlier, like, more in the mix. Because right now, they're just sort of... I don't know, they're only on two. Yeah. They're not doing the damage yet. No, like he he's and he's the one with the damage potential really, isn't he? Chigan. He's got uh, he's got the tackle pom, like he's got pom. Pom versus eight and nine is better than Mighty Blow versus eight, but Mighty Blow versus eight has uh, worked out pretty well. Oh, 
I mean, Shogun just needs to, you know, take his time, get that ball down there, get his numbers advantage back, because he will. He'll, you know, he'll, he's got two to come back. Not on a three. <laughs> Looking dimmy with it's pronounced, it's pronounced semi, not semi. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Artemis always says chicken, doesn't he? So I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it was it chanting with um, calcium and he just said it was a stupid name and he refused to see it? <laughs> that that like it. He pronounced it in a very wrong way. <laughs> that sounds like calcium alright. <laughs> yeah, he just fucking refuses that like, this guy or the opponent or whatever. He's just like, no, nah, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You could put everybody on the uh, on the strength seven mummy. That would be that would be funny, wouldn't it? He <laughs> could ultimate twat magnet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the the pommer's down, so you kind of want to get a couple of guards on him and and isolate the other two guards. Well, obviously two of them are mummies. Um. Also, yeah, you've got to cover that side of the pitch too, but he can do that. Slayer Blitz, is it? He will blitz the zombie. Yeah, Slayer Blitz on the zombie, maybe. Sure. And Dauntless is a 5 plus, yeah. <laughs> another, another removal. What a lucky dog PC has been this half. As much yeah. as you were unlucky in the first half, taking the three cards, this half has been insane luck. Yeah. 7v7. Boy, and no. now, like, from this turn, those ghouls have to be exposed now. Yeah. It's almost like Chicken just has to score at all, right? And then get, get all of his guys back, because he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll get some KOs back. But not that many, right? Just one. And then, like, maybe he's only... Maybe he's only I guess it's three plus, so you can probably count on getting two back. Yeah. That's not great. I'll go with one. It's really not great. He, he can leave these two, these three in the dust a bit, can't he? That's the good thing that he's got going from this turn. So this is kind of a good t a good turn to try and like get away from these three. If he can. Yeah, he's got a mummy free as well, which is nice. A shot on the ball carrier. Oh yeah, nice tackle, palm hit on that carrier. Get the mummy down the pitch. Yeah, I like this plan. Mighty blow tackle. The problem is the by going for this hit, he doesn't get away from it. not leaving these three in the dust now, are you? Yeah, this is why I, I, I prefer to just hit the strength four. Yeah. And uh, and try and get over here. Oh, he doesn't get him. Because now he's going to be in a cage right in the middle of the pitch and the dwarves are just going to absolutely pile into it. Yeah, this is this is a bit problematic. Once I mean, the good thing is he's got... He's got a strength four girl, hasn't he? So it's still going to be hard for PC, like yeah, equal numbers. But you're going to get, you know, what has he got? Oh, he's only got one stand firm left, has he? No, two. Yeah, so one on each, couple of stand firms on a corner, and yeah, life gets uncomfortable. This is... and that strength four carrier, you know, he's got a strength four tackler. Yeah. Yeah, I really like getting away from those three. Okay, so he's not going into that cage. He's keeping it, keeping a loose screen, and just having those as a as like a beachhead. Interesting. Yeah, I assumed he was going into the cage, but yeah, um, I yeah, but now don't he mind that at all. Actually, yeah, I prefer this. Base yeah, the ball with nice a Like you say, a beachhead, and then works this flank where there's only three dwarves. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. 
<laughs> when did Dio get an organ? No, they're, 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 they're all connected, aren't they? This team isn't split, it's all connected. It's all... Like, okay, after this guy gets cast, they're, they're pretty disconnected. But they're connected now. <laughs> hey, of course he GFIs. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, of course he's getting cast. This this fucking Slayer's cast somebody, well, removed somebody every single turn, so of course, of course the Pommer's getting cast. <laughs> and then he mans the up the Do you not go for a No, no, he hit the, hit the Pommer to split the team. Oh, no, he's not. He's hitting the other one. Interesting. I yeah. like hitting the Pommer for sure. Yeah, Pommer or a goal. I'm not sure this guy's the, the hit. I guess this is safer, isn't it? But yeah, he, I think you should man up here. I mean, the strength seven is now just stuck on a on a rookie. He's basically <laughs> out of this drive now. Yes. Turn thirteen. Still time. Not much, but it's still time. Yeah. He didn't cast, that's true, that's true. But he, he hit the wrong player, right? If he'd hit the Pommer, he'd have cast. <laughs> <laughs> this is um. Ooh, 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 I'm not sure I like this. And when I, I was say looking I'm not sure at the I like this, I definitely don't if, like it. If yeah, he doesn't get the, the pow. I didn't like it either. Ooh. I guess it's okay though, right? Because by keeping it back, at least you're not going to get into trouble this turn. And the strength seven, mummy can blitz and get on get on three people. Yeah, and it does give him this tackle hit. Because otherwise, that white was a bit stranded, having to dodge. Pile oh, on. that's a beautiful stun. Pile on! Pile on! You've got plus one. Pile on! No, he, Ooh, I don't he like needs. That. He needs his lads on his on their feet now, surely. I guess it's okay. You've got two on three. Hmm. Yeah, I like not piling on there. I, I quite like the strength seven blitz and then mark three people, but I guess this is fine. Yeah, I think this helps him turn the corner more next turn. Oh god, what a brutal turn this is! Three, three stuns. Three stuns, yeah. Whoa. This is uh, almost... And now he's only got one player that can get over. Well, two with the Blitzer dodge. That can get over and get anything in the way of this. I think it's looking really nice for the undead now. Yeah, three stuns when your opponent's only got seven players. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it tends to, tends to work out well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's uh, going to be a quick turn for uh, BC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally, powers a ghoul. He's been trying all game. Nothing. <laughs> Could that have been the blitz? I mean, what else are you... Now freeze another player. Ah, ah, that's a nice blitz. I was just thinking, what else do you blitz? That's what you do. That's yeah, a nice yeah, one. That was, the, uh, that was the obvious blitz. Yeah, I like that a lot. I was thinking Blitz with a strength 4 and reposition, but yeah, that's much, much, much better. This is why I didn't really like. That's why I prefer the strength 7 getting on 3 people, to be honest. But, you know, split, you, that, that way you could have split your mummies and then each, if you get each mummy on 2 or whatever, yeah. that's really good, isn't it? I think, he's, I think he's still absolutely fine. He's got the strength 7 to move. Into uh, one, two, Into three. Yeah, stuff. come all the way around to the other side of those two. I think that, Everyone oh, out. I see three dings. This is a little bit greedy. I, I don't like this. I think it's better yeah, to blitz. Yeah, surely that goal can be more used down the pitch. Well, I just think he blitzes. I think you should just blitz this guy, and then chain the mummy forward, right, and then get that mummy. Yeah. Down the field, this mummy marking those, and then move these three up here. Like I just. This yeah. is just greedy getting an extra mighty blow hit, which seems a bit crap. 
to be honest. Yeah. And and it's against Dodge anyway, so it's not even a good amount of blow hit. Sure. Yeah, I, I didn't like that at all. No, I... Like, who's even blitzing? I, I, I guess he just... Oh, so he blitzes with this mummy then, and then goes to... I he blitzes on three. Game. Yeah, okay. But I still prefer just blitzing with a tackle. Oh. Yeah, and I think having that... Rackle... Oh. No, so that was a risky right. move, because yeah. if you don't get the power, the, the other mummy still... Uh... Yeah, because he needs a power. Yeah, but then he could blitz that with that way. mummy, though. But then he could blitz with that mummy anyway. But I, then there's no point putting in this ghoul, right? That's that's no. the, that's the thing. The, you, the ghoul just shouldn't have been there. The ghoul could have been yeah. up here. Yeah, that's really strange. And then you could have still done that play. If, if that was the play you were going to do, 3D him, and then 2D and run over here, or 3D, or, or like, you know... Either, either you hit him there, and you hit and run there, or you hit there, and then hit there. The, you, this guy just doesn't do anything, does he? Yeah. So No, absolutely. That's a bit confusing. I think maybe he... Change of heart, middle of the turn. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, maybe that's exactly what it was. It just doesn't... It just doesn't make sense to me that that, that would be it. But it does allow you to... On, on a 50-50, you get the power, and then you get to hit the uh, the stand firm guy. And so that mummy had a grab. So whatever was the result, you know, could have uh, put the... Long beard to the side, follow, and you are still tagging uh, players. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, maybe. Well, hey! He could he could blitz this ghoul and then strand the uh, mummy, but he's not gonna. I don't think it's particularly good. Oh, he's GFIing. Oh, PC loves his GFIs. Oh, there's a reroll. He thinks this is important enough to put in the oh. reroll. These are not PC GFIs. Oof. Oof, and the, and he's left this guy still down that could have stood up. Oof. Yeah. Oof. So I think, I oh, don't know, no, it was a two, it was red that's, that's I mean, that's pretty much the drive, isn't it? We are done. Yep. So, yeah, move down. Nice and safe. Don't take any risk. He Easy wants to stuff. hit the runner, but he can't. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely cannot hit the runner. No, he shouldn't. He shouldn't under no circumstances. <laughs> And then... He blitz this guy to free the mummy. Oh, but he doesn't free the mummy. Now you blitz this guy to try and power him. Oh, that's rubbish though, isn't it? Because you're not going to power him, yeah? You're not even pushing. Oh, he wrestled him, okay. I, I I think it was better to hit him with a mummy to like maybe free up your ghoul there. Yeah. Side. I get still pretty good, isn't it? To be fair, he's not. He's yeah, not it's all fine. Strength four carrier with with blodge, it, it's fine. Romeo done. Oh man, what a blast from the past. Timmy. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? PC with a 1730 TV team. Well, he's not go He's not going for the runner cage dive. Is he going nope. for this guy? One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. <laughs> there we and go. I, uh, this goes to extra time. 
And I, I think, I think if the chaos come back, the undead have an edge mm. on the. This is time. yeah. This is tough, right? Because it's four three. It could go. To, it could go to kicks. So kick equity is a thing. But also, he's only got eight players max. And this, you've got a pom hit. You've got you know. You've got three dices with mighty blow. You've probably got to make these hits, I guess. Yeah, you can make this a three D. Yeah, three D pom is pretty good. The blitz there is pretty good actually to get the three D pom. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Three D. Good play. Well, except he can't. He can't. He can't get the. He can't. He can't do it. He pushed in the wrong square. Wait, was he there and there? He should have pushed there and then gone here with the mummy. He's actually got the wrong square. The he can't. The go around, can he? he can't. No, he can't get it. He can't get three dice. I mean, he still just does two D, but he can't get three. Yeah. Now he's got a pile. Yes, you, you pile on. I mean, he's done 16. <laughs> I know. Oh. And in he goes. In the corner, not terrible. Would have liked to have seen a dance around the uh, the long beard. Yeah, never no, no dance. Uh, <laughs> that's not the CCL champion material. <laughs> <laughs> Gets one back and then he'll have another chance as well. This is KO also come Yeah, that's pretty huge because eight. eight men would have been very bad. Yeah, I knew KFO wouldn't like that one. <laughs> that's not how to score. <laughs> no. He loves a toddy dance. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me, Skrull, but it works for KFO, so you know, that's the important thing. Three, six, nine, so maybe ten, but also maybe just get smashed here by all this mighty blow. So this is it's very interesting. It is. I don't think PC will be trying to move seven one turn, but you never know. <laughs> he could certainly set up to take advantage of a riot. That's probably the the only chance because the one turn with only one runner. <laughs> yeah. In Under the rain. The rain. <laughs> yeah. Move seven in the rain. Looking pretty terrible. But not impossible. But pretty terrible. Not impossible, but he makes to he managed to do it. I'll report him for toxicity. <laughs> Much more likely to just make a random removal. You know, by giving up on the score. There is a mummy there, which is a juicy target. Cover oh. return. Here we go. Oh, oh it's a roll. Five, five. five versus four. <laughs> <laughs> It does go to kicks, they could go on for a while. <laughs> yeah. Plus the best part because there are only one reroll difference between them, you know, they are not gonna they're not going to spend their rerolls. You wouldn't think so, but they might have to, right? Like when it comes to this. Yeah, it, it must be thing. double skulls or uh, something like that, you know, to actually think that but no grid rerolls. <laughs> no. They probably shouldn't. Here it comes the Juggernaut <laughs> versus the Stand Firm, the, the Eternal Fight. <laughs> no. Oh. We're too far back. It's just one turn. Just one turn, Skuro. So he doesn't want to get blitzed, does he? Jesus, what a useless troll slayer this uh, town. Fail everything. <laughs> oh. Well, it still has the blitz. It still has the blitz. Yep. With mighty blow, so that's alright. 
My God. Okay, oh. that's all right, PC. Get right, get rid of all the bad dice now. You know, yeah. master play, master play. So now it's overtime. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Let's see who gets the pass now. And <laughs> nine rerolls in overtime. Glorious. That's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? Nine rerolls in overtime. This could go on for a while. <laughs> Absolutely unable to roll a six. Absolutely unable to roll a six. <laughs> I see PC playing the algorithm of the game, you know, getting rid of all the bad rolls. Mm, right, where wins. are we going? He does come back, so we've got ten versus eight. PC has lost, I believe. I think they show you the wrong one. Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's absolutely it's stupid, but they show you that. If you know anything about Cyanide's program abilities, you shouldn't be surprised. But yes, they actually they actually show you the wrong team saying that your opponent won the toss. Like you know, it showed Chigan's logo saying your opponent won the toss, but his opponent had not won the toss. God bless Cyanide. <laughs> Um, I believe J Five. The way the the way the animations work, they do they do have the loads of kicks. Yeah. yeah. Yes, all the kicks. Okay, now he's going for the three Ds the right way. Oh, it was the HDK. <laughs> and I guess you blitz the Blotch Mighty Blow without the stand firm on the right. Yeah, yeah, with your tackler. With the tackler, because if not, you get the stack there, it's like not good. <laughs> two reroll advantage. There's OT odds, isn't there? That's what the uh, thing is. So two reroll. Advantage or 82% or 81%. Which is still absolutely not nailed on, is it? No, the roll for the undead. <laughs> five, no, for five. purple chest. 5 to 5. <laughs> wow. 5 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> this could end turn 24 with both of them with 5 rerolls each. <laughs> Amazing. The thing is now. I think you don't do exactly what Chigan's done here. I think you re-roll the pickup, right? I think you just uh, you leave those two where they were and, and put a re-roll in the pickup because you've got to think you you're not going to have to go a re-roll. You don't need to the need re-roll for the pickup because the strength for us sure hands, Jimmy. Ah, right. He's got sure hands. Well, there you go. Then you definitely don't need to re-roll for the pickup. <laughs> But I would st I would have invested a reroll in the pickup if I had to, just because you got five, right? I think I think as Chicken, you just use your rerolls to score now because yeah. you've got five yes. of them <laughs> and you've got a two-man yeah, advantage. Yes, yeah, I, mean, I think for you, the person in offensive, you just forget kick equity, don't you? You just go for it. The wind's in your hands. Just get it done. I mean, last time I checked, scoring in overtime gives you a hundred percent the game equity. <laughs> Yes. That is indeed how it works. But see, like, these two, okay, they cover the ball in case of a fail, but if he just hadn't moved them, he could have picked up and moved right up, couldn't he? And then, like, maybe he doesn't want to move right up, I guess. I guess at the end of the day, it was a slow, right? He can he can spend a few turns dicking around, but he did that last drive, and then he, got, he just got m m uh, zombies removed, didn't he, in those turns dicking around? So, so the turns dicking around yeah. aren't that good, because the, you know, you're... You're putting a clock in a way by the fact that he's got yes. mighty bullets dwarves, in your armor. Right? Dwarves are slow, but the undead team is not very fast either. Yeah. What is J5 driveling on about now? <laughs> <laughs> very good, J5. <laughs> if you like total nonsense, I suppose it is quite good. Oh, it's hilarious. I think I missed that part of the meta. Yeah, don't worry about it. Well, fails to pick up, but it's okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, going back to Jim's point, <clears throat> absolutely, there's no there's no need to stall anymore. You don't have to make it in a turn drive. So yeah, just the less turns getting punched by Mighty Blow Dwarves is, you know, more chance of having all of you guys there to support the ball and get it forward. Yeah. I would have at least had these guys, like, one forward from where they were, right? Because there's just, like, you know, with this scattering forward, now they're not going to be in the right place next turn for when you pick it up. So I, I would have liked them two forward. Then that would have yeah. at least given you two turns of picking up without having to move them first next turn. And there you go. The reason they're not tagging the stand firm guy is it would just be giving away a mighty blow hit. Yeah, there was um, time a free mighty blow hit, which yeah. you should never do. Yeah. Unless... It's not an option. Yeah. Yeah, well, Jimmy, it's not hard to predict the scatter. Like, if, if you're going to do this safe route and, and not worrying about progression, then of course you put them two ahead in case it, there's a three out of eight of it going forward. Like, there's a decent chance of that. Yeah, sure, that's, uh, that's true as well. You, if you lose the ball when you when you eventually go for it, then they don't get the, the counter score. That That is true, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Just fucking put the advantage against dwarves. Just leverage it. <laughs> Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> oh, also, is you don't want to leave your mummies behind either. They're a big part of your of your drive. So oh, you Taking your time and keeping the, the team together, keeping your mummies together, that's viable as well. Well, now we want to see the blitz on the runner. Yeah. Smash that runner. <laughs> Gets the pow. Oh, this could be huge. Not. Well, unless he piles. Pile, yes! Oh, I tell you what, a stun! Pile on! Oh, lame. Oh, double it once and pile on. I think I'd have been happy with a stun and my white on his feet right now, but. I mean, if he gets rid of that player. He yeah, he would have to pick trouble to pick up the ball. You're almost guaranteed the draw, aren't you? Well, failing twice to pick up the ball, 275%. He could, get, uh, he could get stand firm on the ball. You don't want to have to re-roll though. Denied one guy and uh, <laughs> accepted the other guy. So yeah, he failed again. Did he in PC's turn again? Okay. Okay. I think he's going for the bloch stand firm on the ball. Yeah, I think so. Oh, another, one, another, one, another, one. another one gone. Oh. He sees a look at dog sometimes, isn't he? Holy moly. Oh, and a GFI. <laughs> On extra time. My good. <laughs> well, it's okay. Again, PC has got to put all of his rerolls into stopping the score, hasn't he? So, it's pretty interesting. Yes. I mean, there is the, you know, the, no, no, save your rerolls for the uh, kicks. But then is the, the other argument. Use all of them to win. Yeah. Woo! Wow, those are very fast. Uh, and again, the red dice. <laughs> yes, Thor, exactly. Yeah, that was brilliant, that wasn't it? That was a great. That was a great blog on Fumble. Well done, Thor. Good reference. If you give PC rerolls, he will make GFIs. It is. I mean, it's fair enough, right? Movement six long beards are a lot better than movement four long beards. Why not? Do that? uh, let me check the maths. But yeah, <laughs> seems that you're right. 
especially when the movement six uh, comes without any TV prize, you know, they get yeah. it for free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh man, this is looking brutal now, isn't it? Wonder if he regrets that pylon. Not really, right? He doesn't do much if he stood up anyway. So I think the pylon's fine. Oh, he stops. He, he stops the. Uh, oh yeah, the he does stop the, base, on the ball. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I don't pile on very often, which is why I don't really take piling on very often anymore. I like my guys on their feet nowadays. Really, really Flicky, you're completely and utterly boring, is that? Yep. <laughs> wow, what a shocker. Yep. Now I know. Oh, hello. Rerolling. Glorious. Oh, beautiful. Well, well use. Good result, and now... Big pick up now. Massive pick up now. Oh, he finally Angus. gets it. Oof. He finally gets the ball. He he used the the head of the bird of the troll slayer to get a better grip. That's why he blitz. And that's a pretty huge stun as well on the stand firm. And then that's oh yeah the the strength seven could really do with uh he has to 3d yeah if he gets a stun there and gets the strength seven free for next turn this could that could be game winning yep. yeah thanks sir i just literally just found that that was huge wasn't it absolutely huge this the stun and the both knockdowns and the actual pickup <laughs> It doesn't stand firm. It's not over, no, it's it's really not over. Hey, I think that's that not, early, an early GG not, from Skuro, but... Oh, that's a nice dodge. This is not, not uh, over, especially with the level of uh, rolls we are seeing here. Yeah. Well, Maybe not it's not an option. Why did he allow him his strength seven mummy free? I don't get that one. Probably because he wants to dodge out with him, get back maybe. Yeah. Just dodge it. Just dodge away. Yeah, sure. I mean, you get to one die that zombie, which you're gonna do anyway, and then you can make that dodge. Yeah, I guess if you're dodging anyway, then there's no point staying where you are. Fair enough. I think he's aiming for you know reposition, using the. The words, uh, as the uh, PC loves to say, stabilizing the center. I mean, that, that's got to be the only reason, right? Like, like, do you know what I mean? I would have stood firm as well. But yeah, I, guess, I, 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 I was just thinking reason. it's great that he's got to stand firm so he can't free up his <laughs> turn seven. Now, is he going to dodge with a long beer at the zombie or 1D? Yeah, dodge with a dodge with a blitzer and then 2D. Yeah. Oh, well, yes. Glorious. Oh, just a push. T A Y T O. Yeah, are we going to see the Tato now? Stand the white, maybe blitz with the block goal to free him off the. Blitz with the. Uh, blitz with the. That's what I mean. 2D with the ghoul, with the block ghoul. Maybe dodge with the ghoul. Maybe just dodge with the ghoul. Move the move these up the side here and just uh, do you want you wanna hit the uh, you wanna hit the strength four. Like the strength four tackler is the main way you can hit the ball, isn't it? So you kinda wanna hit the strength four. Yeah. To stop him freeing him and hitting your ball. Like at the moment it's double GFI to hit the ball. And here it comes. So now he's got to make this dodge. He literally has to make this dodge right now to tighten this up. Yeah. So it's a terrifying one in nine now. Yeah, huge one in nine incoming. But you have to do. Oh! Ah! And he gets it. Oh, but he's left a gate dodge. He should have been here, shouldn't he? Oh, he has. 
He's left. He's left a, a weak diagonal. There we go. That we'll we'll use the we'll use the dioism. That's only a four plus. Whereas if he'd gone there, it would have been a five plus four plus. Well, actually, not different because he's a long beard, so it's even better. I guess it doesn't matter. Way. There we go. I haven't seen a dwarf go off for a while. Oh, uh, it's a weak diagonal at chest term. Oh, I didn't know. I'd only use it then. <laughs> I did. Oh, I beat the level one AI. Lines. <laughs> I beat the level one AI. What what a baller I am. Ask me anything. King of lie chess <laughs> I am now. <laughs> Is it lie chess or lee chess? I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I'm the king of it. I beat the level one AI. Twice. <laughs> Demi, Demi will tell you which one it is. Light chest, not light chest. <laughs> I'll just wait for the patch when they patch the chest, you know. Wings are overpowered. Here we go. Oh, no, just oh. Get it. you've got to re-roll it. You've got to re-roll it, PC. You've yes. got to re-roll it. Yes, yeah. you have to re-roll this because if you know that ghoul is going to run very far. Yeah, yeah you had to re-roll that. Liches. <laughs> Dio just went from poker to Dio is learning. He's evolving. <laughs> <laughs> the hue is increasing, you know, his uh, brain uh, size. <laughs> oh, oh, the double skulls. Huge. Huge. Oh. Boy, howdy. Well, he's got dodge. Yeah. He doesn't want to blitz him, so he wants to blitz this guy, which means he needs two assists on him. And But he also needs the power, doesn't he? But I guess if he doesn't power, he can dodge away from the runner. But he can power him and then move up here, which is a lovely place to run with, uh, protected as he is by mummies. I don't know if I... If, isn't it, if you don't get the power... Do you want to risk so, it all on a one and nine? You're three D here. You're three D here. I mean, you've got no choice, right? You're three D here. Yeah. And then you bring in the zombie, and then just blitz him. And if you if you power him, you're away. And if you push, then you've got to dodge away from not tackle. I mean, what what else can you do? You could try to bring in people and uh, chain, but it's it's then you still have to power anyway. So. Yeah. Okay, tags there. That's that. I guess that's the way of doing it as well. Yeah. Okay. But couldn't he have moved here? He could have moved that. That would have been better to yeah. move there. That was a poor move, I think. Who third dies? Does the magic? Glorious. If you blitz the runner with the ball, it's, that's really bad because you've got to power him. It's much better to blitz the strength four, to me, because if it's easier to power him, and then you don't have to dodge at all. Also, I like, yeah, that's just, that's just that's got to be better. You you got to blitz the strength four. Also, like blitzing the strength four takes him out of the game completely, right? Because he's then he's he's only movement four, and he's based on a zombie as well. Like it's it's incredible to to power this guy, and you're twice as likely to power him as if you blitz the runner. Should be there, I think. But okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about that mummy placement either. Maybe he's planning to go out this way anyway. Yeah. Oh, he blitzes the run and gets the power. What an absolute oh, look at dog. The, the classic getting the power tactic. That's outrageous. And the armor break. And, and this cool the bit. Oh, that's outrageous. This cool bit because now that ghoul can run toward the sunset. Yeah. That's absolutely outrageous. Also, like, powering this guy frees up your white, your ghoul as well, doesn't it? That's disgusting. Champ strats. Champ strats from Chiegan. You can't go there, you've got to go here. That's just a four plus. You've got to go here. Yeah. Good lad. Oh. <laughs> Gucci cool beans. That's GG, right? Yeah, pretty much. Right, On one side, I feel bad for good. PC. Because he has a fantastic team to own a challenge run. But in the other hand, 
This is more uh, Strength 7 Mummy action. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was an unlucky draw really for PC. It was a really good undead team. And obviously a good coach. And then he got pretty much hammered in the first half of those three cards. That was that was really brutal first half, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that LOS, wasn't it? Taking two cards on the LOS. Yep. On yeah. turn eight. That's really what turned it. Because he, he's been in it even when down man, you know, he's chipped his way back into it. Got close to even on numbers. But, yeah, two men down for the second half was, was brutal. Yeah, and then obviously losing the coin toss as well. He still could have won in overtime had he won the coin toss. He'd sure. have probably been... Yes, and I think this was maybe one of the best shots the PC had to win the challenge, so maybe his next best option is buying a second-hand Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's and always a good chance. One more step towards uh, Strength 8. <laughs> well, you know, like he's a champion <laughs> any format. Yeah, it's true. It all counts. Maybe I should have made a more concerted effort to win on PS4 or, or Xbox. But um, yeah, there we go. Congratulations, Chigant. Um, commiserations, PC. I thought that was a pretty good game. Um, yes, it was very entertaining. 16 yeah. armor breaks for the undead, which is good effort. Yeah, I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed that match. Loads of kills for the for the uh, under. I mean, there were a lot of uh, you know cast kills and all that. Seven, yeah, eight, nine. Dwarves. Brutal, brutal stuff. Right, thank you very much, Fimea and Flicky. Absolutely glorious of you guys to come on. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.